you know, in life, you pretty much have squash matches. You know what I'm saying? Texas did what they needed to do today. Uh, they had about, um, I would say, about almost 700 total yards in offense. And UTEP is not a team that you think would beat anybody in the Big 12 like that or anybody that's going to beat somebody substantial. Bottom line is, Texas beat them 59-3, to and it wasn't even close. I mean, like I said, you have your teams that do squash matches, and this is no exception. You know what I mean? It's more important to just look at the crowd, honestly, because the crowds, you know, they're uh, separating, you know, the COVID, doing their best they can. But we've been seeing lately that they actually have good, decent crowds or whatever. So it's not like they're completely eliminating crowds from the uh, stadiums and stuff like that. But, uh, yeah. And to bottom line all of this, Texas beat UTEP 59-3. to Yeah, it was flat out abuse and the punishment on all levels. And, you know, that's how they went down. For the Longhorns, so all I can say is, go Longhorns. Once again, the score was 59-3. to Just showing this is not doing it justice, but bottom line is, that was the score. 59-3, to Texas. Texas. And on the other side, you had pretty much Oklahoma doing whatever the heck they wanted, you know what I mean, to Missouri State, treating them like trash. And they had about a total of uh, about 600 yards in total offense. And they basically beat them 48 to nothing. So... There you go. The Big 12 teams that are representing Oklahoma and Texas. As you can see, more greatness right there. Running around, doing whatever they wanted. Scoring TDs. Because that's how it went down. And look at them, just dancing or whatever like that. Look at them, just, they're just dancing all over the place. You know what I'm saying? They started out their season openers right. Sooners. You know what I'm saying? You got cardboard cutouts. You ever just look at the fans and see what's going on there. Like, oh, where are they putting the cardboard cutouts at, actually? Because that's the attention you want to pay attention to. You know what I'm saying? Looking around there, social distancing and all that. You're trying to figure out, you ain't even looking at the game. You're trying to figure out, like, who's doing, uh, where are the actual cardboard cutouts out? It's kind of like, where's Waldo? You know what I'm saying? You'll pay more attention to that than anything that's going on on the Missouri State side of things. So bottom line is, Sooners and Longhorns did what they needed to do today and gave business, representing for the Big 12. Fans just enjoying themselves, having fun. I'm a Sooner country. Jim Ross is pleased.